Hello, everybody. Thanks for stopping in and seeing me. Yeah, it's Crafty Jackie, and I'm out of breath. And I have some goodies to show you. I hope you're having a great weekend. Um, I've been having a good weekend. We went to a hog roast last night, and food was good. We had fun. Um, it was a little ruckus during the party, but I was minding my own business. And uh, today we've been running around. We did some laundry. We went to Aldi's. Our Aldi's is closing for a month because of remodeling and making it bigger. Uh, so we were grabbing some things. We'll have to go to the one by our church until they open back up. And um, I stopped in the Dollar Tree and saw really none of the cute things you all have been showing for Christmas. They barely were showing anything of Christmas yet. But uh, they did have one wall that was with a bunch of stuff for the little trees, but at the bottom, where I assumed the little trees had been, they were gone. I'm hoping to find one of those white ones, because I have a green one, but I really want a white one, so... Um, so I just picked up a few things. Um, Ron has had his first treatment for his cancer and he is going back to work on Monday. So, um, yeah. So I'll be all, all by myself again, except for the dog. And then my neighbor's going to be leaving on Tuesday and won't be back for a couple weeks. So, uh. Yeah, it'll just be me and you guys. So if you get sick of me, I'm sorry, but I'll have to chat with you. Anyway, so let's get started with the haul. And uh, I didn't buy a lot of exciting stuff because, like I said, there wasn't any. So, in fact, they were so out of a lot of stuff, I couldn't believe it. But um, I'm, I'm most of it's food bought some of these crackers because I really like them. I'm like a, a cracker holic. I, I love eating crackers like for a snack. Um, they had no tortilla chips and I forgot to buy them at Aldi because I got some guacamole so I got these chips, the dippy corn chips. Hopefully they'll taste alright. I don't know. I'm hoping. I mean I know they're good chips. I just Hopefully they'll taste good with guacamole. Ron said we needed mustard, and I didn't think we did. And then when I was in Dollar Tree, I thought, nah, maybe I should pick one up just in case. And good thing, because we were almost out of mustard. So I got a deli market. I think it's the one we are using right now. So got that. And I got, I only just picked up one jar of the mushrooms to make some uh, pasta with. I love I love the mushrooms and that I was doing a lot of comparing today. Ron's going to be retiring soon. So I'm trying to compare if something's a good deal there because my Dollar Tree is right by the Aldi. So, you know, I usually hit both of them the same day. So, um, if something is a good deal, if it's a better deal at the Dollar Tree, I'm going to buy it there, of course. And these mushrooms are a better deal for sure. I think the mustard is too. Crackers, mm, I'm not sure about that one. Um, these I did buy, and I told Ron that I bought them for the dog because they sell these kind of cookies for like $5 or more, and I swear they smell just like a regular cookie. So they might not be, but they sure smell like them. So uh, Ron said he was laughing, thinking I got them for us. I said, well, I really bought them for the dog, but they're the Little Dutch made. I love Little Dutch made crackers, so I've never had these. Hopefully they're good if, if we eat them. We had ran out of oatmeal, so I bought another oats. Today we ate uh, cream of wheat, and I hadn't had that. Ron likes it, and I hadn't had it in years, and uh, it was very yummy, I have to say. That is the end of the first bag. And in my second bag, as... Lisa from Lisa's Halls always says, 
that she gets good sense because it makes good sense. So I bought a box of good sense bags. I always buy the ones with the tab ties because that's how I always tie bags anyway. I don't ever use like, I don't feel like the drawstring is that big of a thing, you know. Um, I got the dog some rawhide shoes. They didn't have the three straight ones in a pack, so I got him these funky ones. But he likes, he loves, he does like these things. Uh, 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 I can't, I'm, I'm stuttering here, folks. Um, I needed some dish soap, and so I really like this palm olive almond milk with blueberry. So I bought this one this time. Um, I got... These are the only Christmas ornaments that I really liked that they had out so far. Um, I have, I always have snowmen, a bit whole arrangement of snowmen. And uh, I thought these are really cute. So I got the snowmen. I'm not sure if I'll put them in the tree or use them somehow in my, I have a big snowman display that I put up. And... I just had to have this one with the black cat. Yeah. I'm going to put it in my window. I have a few of them in my window over here, right behind me. And uh, I'm going to put them in the, put it in the window and take down one of the summery ones, I guess. I was desperately needing wipes. And since I've never gone in on the Bolero wipes or anything, um, I like these pretty well. I do like the ones actually from... Big Lots, the best. And they were having a big sale right now. I should have just went and got them there, now that I think of it. Maybe I'll go grab some tomorrow. Anyway, um, but I like these pretty well. So, got them. Um, this is something, and this was the last two they had, so they either ran out real quick and whatever, but um, I got, these are Pedigree. Um, pouches. This one is meaty ground dinner with slow cooked beef. Chopped ground dinner. So let's see if the dog will eat these. I thought maybe if I mixed it in with dry food. I don't know. And uh, that's what it says to do. This one is choice cuts in gravy, chicken casserole in gravy. So we shall see. He's quite the picky eater, I'll tell you. And I don't know why this is in the bag. Oh, it probably fell on my purse. Yeah, it probably fell on my purse. Um, but the last thing I got, which I thought was very pretty, and I just happened to see it, is this picture. And it's a dark bluish color. It's kind of hard to see in this. Uh, but my daughter, I think I mentioned a hundred times, my daughter Jenny collects giraffes, and I thought that was very, very pretty. And she could, uh, I want to put this with her little giraffe pile for her birth, or for Christmas. And then, first we went to, like I told you, we went to Aldi's, went to the Dollar Tree, and then on the way back, um, there was a big, huge, it looked like an estate sale, and we went to that, and I used to do a eBay, and if I would have seen, I mean, if I was doing eBay, I would have been buying like crazy, because they had all kind of really cool stuff, old stuff, and they had the, the prices were ridiculously low, so I don't know, but I didn't really have a lot of money, and I don't do eBay anymore, so I just got a few things. Uh, the first thing I got was, let me put this on it and just reach down. This is heavy. Um, the first thing I found was this book, and it's really a new book. But it says, A Witch's Grimoire of Secret Magic and Spells. It was 50 cents. And I just thought that would be cute to put, um, it'd also be cute to copy these pages and use them in art, you know. But I thought it'd be really cute just to put it with my Halloween stuff, uh, my 
yeah, my Halloween stuff that I'm going to put out. So, yeah, I thought that was awesome. And we're running out of space. Uh, the next thing, this is really heavy, too. Um, I used to buy this all the time from the Dollar Tree. I think it was a smaller box, though. And then they quit selling it. And I thought it did a great job on the dishes. So I bought that. And it, it feels, you know, loose, so I think it's good. I paid a dollar. Paid a dollar for that. Um, this was very exciting. This is a uh, Fire King dish. And um, it's a one and a half quart casserole. And it's the iridescent finish. So I thought that was really pretty. And I will probably just keep it out here and use it out here. So I got plenty at home. All right. So the next thing I got was, um, oh, and that dish was a dollar. Yeah, which I thought was a great price. Um, this is something that says, as seen on TV, U glue. And it's showing it putting it under rugs. I didn't even look to see how much of it was in there or anything. Looks like this with that thing on it, and it says um, you can use it to hold down vinyl siding, carpet, tablecloths, it bonds to carpet, canvas, fabrics, drywall, blah blah blah, on and on and on. And on. Strips can be cut to any size. It is the strength of super glue and the convenience of tape. It says you can use it in crafts. Put down tiles, repair your shoe. It's just a miracle, folks. Hundred pieces was supposed was in it originally. Let's see what's in here. There's a few been used, but not that many. And so there's another one of these sheets. And then there's some bigger sheets. Or a bigger sheet like that. And there's a roll of smaller sheets. So, yeah. I'm sure I can find some use for it. I never met a glue strip I couldn't find a use for. So how's everybody doing? You having a good weekend? I'm doing all the talking here. I'm not hearing anybody. What's up? And then these I bought because they were only, I don't know. They were only like 50 cents, if that. A quarter, maybe. A little tag came up with it. Um, but I used to dye my hair all the time, but I used, and I used all the gloves up, so I don't ever have them anymore. Um, it's, this one's torn, but, you know, you never know when you might need a glove or something. So... Um, yeah, I know all 50 aren't in there, but I figured, what the heck. Um, I got this, it was 25 cents, and was still in the package, and it's made in China, of course, and it's one of those little train whistles. Um, I'll probably give it to some kid. And last but not least, and I juggled with this stupid thing for I don't know how long but I paid a quarter for this and it's a little turkey and it's stoneware and it, you put a little candle in there and I'm going to do something with it I'm not going to just sit it there uh maybe I'll make a centerpiece or something with it but I thought it was really pretty and for a quarter couldn't pass it up and that is the end of my haul and I had fun. I I was, I love to go to yard sales. I get so excited when I go, I'm practically shaking. Kind of like when I go into the Dollar Tree, I get the shakes. We're like, oh my goodness. 
So, um, yes. Uh, I know I didn't have anything uh, that you haven't seen before, probably. Maybe the dog food, stuff like that. But um, next time, you never know. I might have a whole bunch of better stuff. So until then, I hope you're having a great day. Actually, it's nighttime now. So I hope you have a great Saturday night. Um, we're going to have a fire and make some s'mores. And uh, yeah, I'll see you later. Love you guys. Stay crafty. Bye.